English language and communication. English language and yeah. communication. English language and linguistics with a minor in communication media culture. English language and linguistics uh, with communications. English language and communication. And I graduated in 2010. I graduated in 2013. In 2010. So 2013 I graduated from English language and then I did a PGC. I'm a media planner at ITV um, and my job is to plan our promotional campaigns for ITVB, which is a new channel. I currently work in publishing and more specifically within marketing within publishing for Oxford University Press. I'm a primary teacher. Um, I've got reception class up in Banbury. I work as a secondary English teacher now. Um, I teach both English literature, uh, language and media studies, um, right through from GCSE, GCSE 3 and A level. So I work in financial PR, so um, I work for an agency that works on behalf of banks to uh, communicate the ideas properly, to handle their crises as there are many, um, and help them report, report their results in the way that they'd like to be reported. One of the things that I've really liked about Oxford Brooks was the fact that there, there seems to be clear links between what you're studying and the routes into future careers. Um, and Paul Wickens in particular is particularly good at promoting that, um, at arranging meetings with you and talking about possible routes. They were very good at applying to what you're going to do afterwards and apply, making your, giving yourself the application to, to think about what's coming up next. I did a marketing and communications internship for technology design and environment faculty. So in terms of helping me get my career, that internship that was a result of the careers programme here was really essential. Brooks, they taught me how to write, they taught me how to break down the sentences and the meanings behind and which audience you're speaking to. Um, I think that certainly helped a lot. I think the two transferable skills that I definitely took into my job were um, analysis, so everything from linguistic analysis, um, from like forensic linguistics to psycholinguistics, and also communication skills. So I've always had to report back on the data to clients or broadcast controllers and marketing departments so just clear communication skills. When we're looking at the way we communicate and use language um, there are modules that you end up teaching as a secondary teacher with English that are directly related including spoken language analysis. Even from the practical things like the more practical communications modules, um, persuasive communication, intercultural, I think that helped me a lot in just understanding people and how to communicate with them which is important in any job but particularly in marketing. In terms of confident talking to people confident talking within um, seminars as well. Um, the presentations that you have to do um, were really helpful in setting you up because you do have to do that in day-to-day -day life. I loved my time, I love my studies, um, I keep talking about going back and doing my masters. Um, I think they were essential in forming me in terms of who I am as a person now, the way I work with people um, and I think Brooks was really important for me in terms of just discovering my passions. I think there's a lot of space here for that. I think it was definitely the best three years of my life, especially um, year, yeah, year three, there was a lot of work to do, <laughs> but years one and two um, just got time to kind of shape the person I am now. Yeah, I love, I loved Brooks, um, I love the city, I love Oxford, um, made loads of great friends um, and lecturers are really, they're really helpful, you do feel like you actually know them. I really miss it, it's just, yeah, brings back loads of good memories, made loads of nice friends, great relationships with all the lecturers and everyone was really friendly and helpful and would go like above and beyond to help you in your degree.